Slim. We're gonna call her Slim or whatever. And Slim texted me out the blue and was like, I, um, when you get a chance, call me. So I'm looking at the message, I'm looking at my cousin, like, should I call her? Like, what is it about? Like, I don't what is it about? I really don't want to talk to her, like, what is it about? Call her, she telling me like on some like girl, we in a car. I'm with uh I'm with such and such and I'm with his homeboy. I mean, you know, his, him and homeboy, my homeboy and homegirl together in the front seat, and me and C is in the back seat. And he trying to talk to me, like C is trying to slide on me, and I'm on some stuff like you talked to my homegirl Lex, and he was on some that when he got cold shoulder and didn't want to really talk to me like that because he felt like I knew you, and I'm on some stuff like you know, females can lie. I believe that females can lie, but also, if females can go out their way because they want, they don't want to see with nobody. But this was my only main concern. No female should be able to come to me about anything first. You should be the one that come to me about about that first. And when a female, whatever she have to say, it, it should be just added on. Her just telling me extra facts, but nobody should be able to come to your partner. You supposed to tell your partner first. Nobody shouldn't have one up on you. So I felt disrespected because I'm on some stuff like I blocked them. I'm like, oh, baby, you got your rabbit ass mind to think that. Cause he thought, oh, it's not like that. It's not like that. Oh, it wasn't that. I was not trying to talk to that girl. I put you. And then one thing about him, he used to always try to put me on, on, his, on the phone with his friends. You, on, you about to put me on the phone with them liars? You about to, you really think I'm about to get on the phone with your homeboys so they can lie for you and say, oh, man, no, little brother's doing this. Little brother really, well, he wasn't doing that. Y'all as the Teen Titans. Power Rangers and y'all take up for each other. That's like me putting my homegirl on the ball. What's she gonna do? <laughs> so come on out with the bull crap. Like, stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with me. So, y'all, I'm like, I don't want to talk to them. Like, block. And he was the type of boy that will pull up. Like, you got him blocked. He's going to pull up to your house. No, he's not. He wasn't aggressive or nothing like that. He just wanted to talk. Um, And I'm on some stuff. Like, it was weird to me because why? And his main thing was. He had a problem with not telling, like, he got, why I gotta, I understand your point of you wanting me to tell you stuff first, but he was on some stuff like, why I gotta tell you everything if I dubbed it. You can say you dubbed it, but old girl saying you, you didn't dub that. But y'all, we still was together after that because I'm on some stuff like, it is what it is, but I think I was, after that little situation we went through that I, that I spoke riddles about, I made my decision. I made my mind. I said, baby, I, I kind of, that relationship, I kind of was dreading. I didn't want to really be in that relationship no more, but I still had love for him. I still had love for him. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. I had to change my battery. So, y'all, like I said, we still was together. Y'all, this one, this this is when it really started getting up in the air. His insecurity was beating him down. I told y'all, every time I woke up, it was him sending me another boy page, telling him, asking me, like, who is this? Why are you in his lights? Block him right now. I told y'all I had to block um, TikTok. No, I, he, I had to remove him off my page. No, I unfollowed him. Maybe I was not about to remove him. Who? You, I hate people like that. Like you had your all your exes and Ab, all your little Johns that you used to talk to on your page, but I <laughs> no, they never gave that one. I'm about to let TikTok go with you crazy. But anyway, y'all. So went to Orange Crush, y'all. If y'all don't know what Orange Crush is, Orange Crush is an event that happens in Savannah. A lot of kids, a lot of uh, not even kids, a lot of adults, young adults go up on a go up on a beach, and we all link, have a good time, music. That are dancing, just having a good time. Yes, there'd be other stuff going on out there. If y'all probably seen that by now, but Orange Trust is like an event that a lot of young teens, a lot of young adults go to or whatever. So I'm at Orange Crush, y'all. I'm having me a good time. My friends, y'all, he home miserable and he's zooming up all on my pictures. Some of some he's zooming up in people the stories, some of some old I seen you dancing on a boy, you was talking to a boy. I'm over here wasted, hanging on to my homegirl like this. That's the same orange crush that I went to when I seen your ex set and she was out of my face and we all was in each other's face, basically about to kiss. I ain't gonna front. At that orange crush event, I seen a lot of people out there that I have minor issues with. Y'all, we literally in each other's face. Oh, it wasn't that big of a deal. Basically about to kiss each other, y'all. That's that's what that look will do to you, for real. Sometimes. If it's not, like, if it's major, of course, it's probably gonna be something different. But yeah. So, y'all, yeah, so he lied about his age, all that other stuff like that. And, y'all, a situation happened. As time went on, as the relationship was dreading, I am about to put y'all in my business for a little bit. 
when that big situation happened with between me and him one thing about men some men some men they don't understand a woman like a woman a woman's body like i feel like it be if, if i'm if i'm depressed if i'm down if i'm going through it financially mentally and i'm just i'm depressed i'm down i'm not myself the last thing will be on my mind is having s x and i just want men to understand this you're not making me happy you're not doing nothing to really make my situation better um i'm mentally tired i'm mentally drained like you have you have you have more of a headache than anything the last thing I would want to do is lay down with you. And the thing is, when we first got together, it was like, yeah, okay, you know. But it was on some stuff like, I'm going through it. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to lay down. I don't, I just, I, and a lot of, and what's so crazy is that be the, the time that you really want to show up for your partner. Show up for your partner mentally and, and basically prove that you love your partner and you was dealt with your partner. You don't just want to lay down and, and do stuff like you. And that's not he he was a sweet he was a sweet understanding guy, but I understand that God need they need his pleas as well. And me as me being his girlfriend, I just I, after that situation I just couldn't I just couldn't get myself into wanting to do that. Like I just couldn't like I'm sorry, you know, but you know. As time went on, you know, I ended up giving up, giving in, and you know, I didn't want to, but I did. Um, and it was on some stuff like he just did. I feel like he just didn't care. Like a lot of men so selfish. Like they, they our body so sensitive. Our body so sensitive. We can't really, we can't. It's like we can't do nothing. We can't tampons mess us up. Like birth control mess us up. Like some pads mess us up. Like. Mother, it's, it's so much stuff. We we so sensitive, and men don't understand that, and men don't care. Like they don't care. They just want what they want. They want to please them, please themselves in that very moment. They don't care about what you're going through. And and some some women are like this when they're messed up mentally. Here, they're not going to want to do anything with anybody or with you know with anybody. Like me personally, I'm one of them females. If I'm mentally messed up, I'm depressed. I don't want to do nothing. Okay. And my friends call my phone and get me up out the house. I would rather go with my friends and go lay down with a piece of man because I want to lay down all day and do stuff all day, do nasty stuff. I'm not with that. Like, I just, I don't have time for that. Like, I just, I don't. That's just that. So, yeah, that was another situation that opened my eyes to, like, wow, really? Like, he was on some stuff like, oh, I get what you're going through. It's been this many, this much weeks. I don't give a damn if it's been a year. You hear me? I don't even the depression just don't come on you and stay on you for no three hours. And and nine times out of ten, the mood swings come over you and you don't even know like why. You don't know where it came from, like what. Like, so it's kind of on some stuff like, hey, I can't do this. So my and I one of my good friends, y'all, I was talking to her mama one day outside and I was just talking to her and she was asking me, do I still talk to C? And I'm letting her know, yeah. And she a very spiritual lady. And she was just letting me know, like, um, I don't pray to God. I pray to God and I pray that God separates you and him. And you know what's so crazy? She don't know him from a can of paint. And I told y'all, C was a, a hood guy. He was a hood, a hood guy. For real, for real. So, and she was like, you know, I don't, you know, I don't, mm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I pray that y'all two separate from each other. So my whole girl was like, mom, I'm like, no, you know, I understand because deep inside, I know I didn't want that relationship no more. I know I didn't want it no more. And that's another, that's a problem I have with myself too. When I am done mentally with something, I keep trying, you know, because I still do love and care for that person, but I know it's not good that we together. I know it's not right that we together. And I know God is not going to bless me by not dismissing something that's supposed to been dismissed in my last chapter, you know. So, um, she told me that. And I'm on some, like, I didn't think about it hard or nothing like that. Like, that was just something she told me. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. 
so as days went on y'all it got to a point where i was he was with me almost every day and he lost his phone i think his phone broke or something had oh okay so um, not to tell his business, but when he was at, it got busted into and his phones, all that stuff got took in. So he was on my phone. He was on using my phone momentarily, like on his Instagram and stuff. He ran inside his cousin's house one day and I was in the car and he forgot that he left his Instagram open. Girl, who baby, right there in my face, right opportunity, right there in my face. Am I going to take the opportunity? Yes, I did take the opportunity. I went through that phone to see what was going on. It wasn't really nothing going on that was like. And I went through that Instagram. It wasn't nothing really like jumping out at me. But when I went through, y'all know Instagram got the little thing where it, uh, it show you, uh, let me go to, it got general messages separated from your primary messages. So I had, anyway, y'all, so my bad, y'all, that just really blew me. Anyways, so y'all, so, uh, where was that? Oh yeah, so I went, I was looking at the, the, the little other messages, little slot thing, and I see a bunch of girls and stuff like that, but he did tell me that his homeboy, because um, he got his phone back when his phone wasn't with him at the time. His homeboy was using his phone because his homeboy got his phone taken. So he was using his phone, C phone, for momentarily. And he said that C was texting people off his page. And, like, basically his little females. He was texting his little females, which is his homeboy. So I'm going through the messages. I'm like, okay, I don't see your homeboy making it clear that it's him. So he come out. He come out. And I done, I done sent a screenshot to my phone. <laughs> So he done came out and I'm like, uh, cause we were supposed to go to my house. So I'm like, um, I'm about to go ahead and drop you off in the hood. He was like, why? Like, what's wrong? Like, what happened? Like, what's going on? I say, um, mm, I said, oh, you got a lot of females up in your age. Oh, that's not, that's, uh, that's old boys, females. I already told you that. We can call them one by one right now. And that was this thing. I always want to call you on the phone with somebody. Like, <laughs> you think they ain't going to lie for your behind, boy, boy, please. So that was another situation. I'm like, okay, Whatever. Um, I think probably that next day or the same day, y'all, um, he was with me for a little minute and then he, I ended up going to work later on that day. And I look at the location cause he got his phone back. I look at the location, baby, he is at a precinct. <laughs> mm, I'm like, what? So... I'm calling his mom. I'm like, oh, da da da. Like, oh, I think he's in jail. Baby, y'all, why he went to jail? Now, what he went to jail for, it, it, I'm not about to disclose that, but just know, baby went to jail. And y'all, that's when things got rough. And one thing about me, baby, I am not that girl that's going to sit here and hook. Like, one thing about it, I'm not, I'm not no jail babe. I'm not no jail wife. I'm not no jail nothing. Jail girlfriend, no nothing. Jail and Alexis is not in the same sentence, baby. I don't do no jail, baby. You, you, as soon as you get them handcuffs on your hands, about to get ready to get in the police car. I already got my skates on and I'm already down the street. <laughs> okay? Because he went to jail before and he only been in there for about a month. Probably like a couple weeks to a month. Or was it a couple days? I can't remember, but he went to jail for a little bit. I stayed with him for that little bit because that's nothing. But now you, it's like you don't know how long you're going to be in there. And it was on some stuff like the reason why I worked it out with him when he first got to, went to jail is because we was in a relationship. And I'm on some like I don't and I should have stayed by my boundaries. My boundaries was I'm not dealing with no man that went to jail. Like I'm just going to jail. That's a jail bird. That's like and I know I was wrong for even I put myself in that situation because I was dating a boy that was in the streets. So that was a possibility. But um. Went to jail and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try to stick it out with him, y'all. Soon as this man went to jail, things, good stuff started happening for me. Like I got me a good paying job. Things just started flowing through nicely. I was talking to his mama um, almost every day, just and talking to him. And when I tell y'all, baby, if y'all ever had ex experience with anybody in jail, jail is not for the weak, baby. That you paying all that money, the text. To, to, for them to call you, for you to, you gotta send pictures. It's you gotta pay for everything, y'all. And at first, you know, I'm like, okay, you know, da da da, I'ma send you, you know, da da da, I'm, you know, little forty, little hill, whatever. Like, you doing the phone, but it got to a point where this new job I had, I was working so much, and the times that he was able to come out to sell and call me, and visit and visit me, I couldn't do that because I'm at work. In this type of job, I couldn't just step out just that easy unless it's like a regular phone call. My mama calling me or something. Quick, hang up. He had like 20 minute visitation um, minutes and I couldn't stay on the phone with him. And see, when he when he got to jail, 
his homeboys dropped him, left him, kicked him in the dust. Ain't nobody reached out, nobody sought no money, nobody did nothing for him. Me and his mama was the only one that was there doing things for him. And I'm still here with this man. No, I don't want to be in this relationship no more, but I'm still here with this man. Trying to work it out, trying to push it out, y'all. As I started to get irritated, at, when, when some men go to jail, they like to hound you. They like to um, try to watch you from the penthouse. They try to be on the phone the same thing they did out they try to do it in but even more like you everything we're doing here is a charge we on the phone you calling me back they charging my car texting 50 cent per message and i and i told this man i even came up with a schedule i said look you can't do all four you can't do all four you can't be phone text messaging um, video visitation and want me to send pictures we can't do all something i have a i have a i have a i have a, bu I have a busy life I, i'm not just sitting on my behind i can see if i was home just sitting on my behind something i'm gonna have to give okay so this is what i came up with this is what i said i said okay when you call me call me that one time you ain't gotta call me no every day you know text when you text me we could text a little bit, but stop double texting me. Come on, you you double texting me like this is a regular phone. It's charging me 50 cent per message. Okay. I'm going to say, you want to send one pictures? Okay, I can send the pictures. That's free. Post office. Okay, cool. All right. Video visitation. The days that you're available and the time that you're available, I'm at work. I was, that job was like an on-call job. We didn't get our schedule to the night before. Okay. That was that COVID job I was telling y'all about. And... And that was a good job. I'm about to mess up that money for that, okay? So, this, did, did he listen? No, he didn't listen. It got even more. I just want to talk to you. It's like you. And it got to the point where I started to ignore his message. I'm like, okay, maybe if I don't text back, he'll see that, okay, I'm texting too much and it keep charging her car. Did he stop? No. No, it didn't stop. I'm like, okay, you something got to give because you, it's, you keep calling me. You keep calling me. This it is so sickening. Like some people from jail is so sickening. They want when they call you, they want you to connect you with their homeboy, homegirl. They want you to call everybody. I can't. I'm at work. I can't do all this stuff. I'm, I'm, and when I do get off from work, I am drained. That job drained. I, the money ain't. The money was worth it. The money was. The money was worth the tiredness. I don't care. So. I'm just like on some stuff like man something gotta give it got to a point where he used to be like oh like trying to watch me from jail calling me like it was one weekend this was the weekend i was fed up he calling me y'all when i'm at my photo shoot and he's like what you doing you're trying to stay on the phone i'm like i'm at my photo shoot on my i'm i'm literally about to take my pictures my makeup is like just got done like like what, what you want to say this man used to try to sit on the phone and try to figure out what i'm doing you cannot watch me from the penthouse you can't do that and I was being loyal to him because it was on some stuff like I didn't want nobody. And it was kind of like, okay, I'm going to try to stick it out. And that's, I told y'all my problem is, my problem is trying to stick it out when I know I need to go. So, I'm talking to his mama and stuff. And his mama is spitting some true facts like, you know what, Lex? I feel like, C don't went to jail. That done drove, that done drove a split in y'all relationship. Like, him going to jail. And, you know, because me and her used to talk a lot about a lot of stuff. That's my, and that's my girl. I love her. Or whatever. So I'm on some stuff like, you know, yeah, like probably, you know, I do see myself not really being with him, like, because it's like he got it got to the point where the controlling got so bad. This man told me one time he was on the phone that he was in a jail in the jail cell getting um advice with his um with his with his roomie telling him my little that little business that happened. And I'm like, why are you telling people that? Oh, because I just wanna see, I just wanna get some some advice from an older guy. And I'm looking like, what? You out your mind, like I got, I got to a point where I was so irritated every time he'd call my eyes a roll real hard and real sassy, cause I'm like, oh my god, like I can't do this, like this jail stuff is a headache, I, I can't do this. Homeboys was reporting everybody that the same homeboys that ain't did nothing for him since he got in there, over here reporting everything to him about what I'm doing. Oh, I went and then this got to a point he was pocket watching. Oh, you complain about paying for um paying for messages and paying for this but you go out of town baby it's my birthday i went to jacksonville baby i had time my friend i had me in time you think i'm about to sit here and put my money on your book versus my birthday oh you got your nails he was literally pocket watching you got your nails done you got this yeah i did i'm not about to keep that that, that jail stuff ass up y'all like it ass up 
Okay, so this is what really broke the camel back for real, for real. Like, he just kept calling me. Oh, it got to a point. And I, I kept saying to myself, like, why people in jail get so much freedom? Why do you get so much freedom? This man was out all time of night. He'll be out. This, he'll be on the app. That, he'll be texting me all time of night, early in the morning, holidays. I'm like, damn, they get so much freedom. Like, at this point, is they in jail? Like, what's going on? And it was around Thanksgiving. I can I can never I can never forget that night. I'm telling him like this was around the time like it was some personal stuff happening with my mama and stuff. I was going through a lot. Something happened with my sister that really messed me up. And I was just and I was just I'm like you know what like I gotta take on responsibility in my household right now. Like I just need some space. I'm 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 drained. I'm drained. I got I got I got a lot. I got a lot. I got a lot on my plate. Like give me a couple days. Give me a couple days to get my mind together and let me and let me see what I want to do. Let me see what I want to do. He said, okay. Did this man give me a break? No. He did not give me no break. He called me every day. Texted me every day. I said, you know what? I don't, I don't, I don't want this no more. I don't want this no more. Yeah, I don't want this no more. It got to the point where it was just fussing. We fussing. Every time we go on the phone or something bad, he telling me what he heard and everything like that. And this is when a this is when it's really had me messed up. And his boy, his brother. Girlfriend gonna text my phone talking about some home I got the messages. She talked about some. C said unblock the jail number. He said he calling in the morning. I said no. Tell him to leave me alone. Cause he got all these people calling me, texting me, talking about some unblock him and all that. No. This is when this girl she lost her mind. That's what she said. What you doing him like that for? That man is in jail. Be there for him. I don't care what he did. Hit that man out. I know that. I know that it's hard, but you doing that man dirty. All he want to do is talk. Mind you not, his brother is in jail too. So she, she, that, this one of his dumber than a box of rocks. Literally because I don't promote violence, but you get punched on like a punching bag. And you still there holding this man down. You still, this man cheat on you, everything. You still there. <laughs> I'm not that one, not me. I said, let me make this very clear. I don't give a F if he in jail. I didn't put him there. I'm not you, okay? Stop texting my phone. You hear him out. He keep playing innocent to y'all, but I ain't finna play with him. You don't know me, and what I choose to do as an answer my phone, that's on me. I don't want to talk to him, and that's that. Now, you leave me alone as well. So, y'all, a couple days after that, his brother reached out to me, the one that's in jail. Yeah, they got phones, and was on some stuff like... Oh, uh, C said he wanna talk to you or whatever like that. So I'm on some like, no, tell him to leave me alone. Like I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm trying to. This man haven't gave me a break since I asked for a break. Like no, and I said, and by the way, tell your girlfriend she better watch it because I. Uh, she was um, she told his mama something. Something she told his mama. I said you better tell her to watch it because she gonna get dealt with. Everything gonna get stuck in her face. She on his. My a reason I said that because she got his password, so she's on the messages as I'm sending them. She texts back, what, what you wanna do? I said, girl, where you at? I ain't got time. I ain't got that. <laughs> but she stopped texting me. Because, you know, very much scary. So, but I was at my breaking point, y'all. I did not want, I just, I, I didn't want it no more. It got to the point where I got real mean. I didn't want to talk to him. Every time he would call me, I'd be just so mad, so upset, so angry. <laughs> I used to be so mad. I, used to, I remember talking um, downstairs with my mama. I'm like, man, I'm like, mom, I don't know what it is. Like, I don't. I, <sighs> I, I don't want to be mean and my mama is a very she's a very sweet lady at times like she know when a situation is bad but she would see the best out of it she'd be like no money I don't think you should do that I feel sorry for him um because you know he in jail he don't know what's going on he in between the walls and but you don't have nobody when he only talked to you so she made me open my eyes a little bit I'm like you know what you right but as I forgave that and looked past that, it got worse. Like, it got worse. I, like, the man started calling me every day, telling putting his mama on three way. Like, literally, oh, you doing this, you doing that. I said, you know, I don't want to be with you no more. Like, I am done. Oh, my God. Okay? So, as we broke up, I met. Ah! Now, this one right here, y'all, I met him at the right time. Y'all, I don't know if I'm going to do a story time on him yet, y'all. But y'all, and y'all know this, shake your dreams, <laughs> shake your dreams. So I met him towards the ending of our relationship. 
that was a situation ship. <laughs> but just know, I don't know if I want to talk about him yet. I don't know. But just know, y'all, it was just crazy, y'all. It was just crazy. That whole situation was crazy. I was just done with that situation um and then when we broke up after that like we became when he actually when we took when i stopped answering my phone stopped texting him back i still was talking to his mama but um when we took a long break from each other he finally reached back out and was on some some grown man stuff like oh yeah he he jail made him just see something different you know we could be friends or whatever he apologized for taking me through so much and putting his insecurities on me i do believe that he did grow while he's in there um because i just wanted him to realize that us being in in a relationship while you're in jail is never going to work and i my best condolences is like i pray for him i pray for him because it's kind of on some stuff like he's it's on, it's on some stuff like he's a he's a sweet boy he is a sweet boy um you know he just right person wrong timing i don't know what it was but that jail thing the jailhouse the penthouse the doghouse actually led to overdone that's it that's it it was over with it was it was done like that drove a hole like i was already there on edge before he went in but baby he that really it really just pushed me over because i'm on some stuff like oh no one thing about it and that's why that relationship right there made me realize ain't no man gonna control me i don't give a damn and it's not even about just no controlling it's about the simple fact that i did put up with a little bit of stuff with him and i don't want to ever go through that again if you show me any little sign of what he had done you gotta hit the door and don't let the screen door split your back while you're trying to walk out the door i just want to see the back of your shoes when you're walking away from me because i don't care but yeah y'all that's the story time on how me and c finally decide to call it quits um because i couldn't deal with that i can't deal i'm, I'm not a jail babe i'm not and, and then when he got to jail that man tried to hear up and marry me hold on hold on hold on swole up Baby, who I am too young. I'm too turned to be sitting here up in somebody's white dress. I'm sorry, like I'm not. And then you in jail. What I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do? <laughs> no, I'm no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So just advice coming from me. If you know that a situation is draining you mentally, leave it. Deal with the healing process now. Rather deal with it now than later. Before you fall too deep. Before you get into deep and for something happen, something bad happening. So God knew that that situation was not good for me. So he put him up while he was working on me. He see he was in my way. And that's how I look at it. But yeah, y'all, that's the story time. Y'all, I know the story time a little bit long, a little lengthy. But I just want to thank y'all. If you did make it to the end of this video, blow me a couple kisses. I love y'all. Even to my new subscribers. Hey, y'all. But, um... We on the road to 4K. You know what it is. You know what it ain't. You know what it do. And when it do. So, y'all, yeah, I'm going to tell the story time of how I fell out with my long, long lasting, long, long lasting relation, best friend that I was best friends with for a long time. I am going to get into that. I'm probably going to drop a part one. Um, I was dreading on that. Uh, I was dreading on that one. Um, that story time because. That is a long story time, and it's a lot. And that situation hurt me to death. You hear me? So, yeah, I might go on this camera and joke, but these situations that happened to me really hurted me. It really did. I, I talk about it now so carelessly because it's been times. It done passed. It done been years. I'm able to talk about it now. So, I'm good. Camera off. But I do love y'all. Thank y'all for being here, supporting me through it all. Follow me on Instagram. It's underscore dot nblix tiktok is living like envy snapchat is alexis samani or living like envy y'all go ahead and subscribe y'all go ahead and follow y'all go ahead and support your girl love on your girl even drop some um some ideas which i want to see on here i did drop my vlog so go tune into them vlogs baby girls or baby boys i love y'all and have a blessed day Mwah. smooch <laughs>